Hello for lover and welcome to Mercy Treasures of Samoa. Today we have another installment of our Siva Afi interviews. We are very, very grateful today to have our very own Mercy Siva Afi instructor, Logan Tapuala, joining us today. So Logan started spinning when he was about eight or nine and his uncle Skivi had come to Samoa to visit and taught Logan how to spin. When we moved to Australia, Logan took up Siva Afi again and learnt through Tama Tatao and Victor Vitaliano. And once he learned from them, he continued his learning through YouTube and, and just practicing out the back of his house. Uh, he also took a workshop with Moi Moana Shwenki where he continued to build momentum and to increase his motivation to be a Siva Afi performer. And we are so thankful that we are able to have Logan Topawala here with us today. Can you tell us how you got involved in Siva Afi? So I first started spinning Siva Afi sticks or just normal sticks just to play around in um, Samoa. But then ever since I came to Australia, there was a whole lot of new opportunities um, for sports and other things to do. But eventually I just came back to Siva Afi. When you first started Siva Afi, what do you think, wish that you had known? Uh, so when I first started out, I really didn't know much about Siva Afi. I wish I knew a lot more about it. So that would come around to like knowing about the history and stuff too. Just wanted to know more about Siva Afi in general. With COVID-19 happening and so many restrictions, not only here in Australia, but around the world, what are you doing now currently? So I work for Messi Nutritious of Samoa and uh, we just released the online beginners course for Sibafi. Link is in the description. And I'm um, currently making the intermediate course, so we'll be there soon. We've all made failures in our lives and it's a part of everything we do. Uh, what is a Siva Afi failure that you have faced personally? So I've had many failures, but um, I'm just going to share one of the ones when I was in Samoa. So when I was in Samoa, um, we just watched a fire knife dancing, um, fire knife dance performance the night before. And during this day, I wanted to try it with file, biggest mistake. So I got some of my friends that were next door and we got a stick and wrapped um, cloth and clothing around the head and we lit it up and one of us got burned and that just shows that this is very dangerous but a lot of practice will help you minimize that. Yeah, being um, safe with fire is very important and, and knowing that Sivafi, it looks great and it is fun, but it also has the danger level where you need to make sure that you have fire safety training before you handle the fire. Is there anything that I should have asked but didn't? Um, I think you should have asked if uh, where we would have gotten our fire knife sticks or our sticks from. So we did struggle a lot with finding where to find fire knife sticks. So there was this one time my grandma went to visit Samoa and I asked her if she could buy a fire knife stick. And when she got back, this is what I got. I got a new 40. I still practiced with it. I was very thankful for it. And eventually we found out about Sivafi company. Um, that's where we got um, our fire knife sticks and we will be working with them in the future. So keep in touch for that. 